Opinions, we've all got one. But what happens when AI joins in on the conversation? Well, it's time to find out. Last week, Google dropped Gemini 2.0, which came with this new feature called Multimodal Live. This lets the AI see through your camera, react to what's on your screen, and respond to you all in real time. And the best part about this, it's completely free right now. So today we are going to push Gemini 2.0 to the limits, showing it everything from viral videos to the biggest mysteries on the internet. And before we start, a quick disclaimer, none of these opinions are my own, so let's get into it. So this is what the interface looks like. It's pretty simple. When you go down here, you can click start recording and that will automatically start communicating with your microphone. And when you click here, you'll have the option to select your camera or share your screen. So I am going to click on screen and I'm just going to go entire screen and go to screen one. Today I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to react to some interesting videos on the internet. Okay, I understand you want to share your screen with me so we can react to some interesting videos. Please let me know when you're ready. All right, let's have a little bit of a warm up. In this image that you can see, is that a duck or is that a rabbit? Sure, in the image you're showing, it looks like a drawing of an animal that could be interpreted as either a duck or a rabbit. What do you think? All right, so you can interpret illusions. Let's do another quick test. Google, what color is this dress? Okay, the image you're showing is of a dress that appears to be blue and black. However, I'm aware that this image went viral because some people see it as white and gold. What do you see? So that's interesting because I don't know about you guys, but I can see a white and gold dress as well. But it's aware of this viral dress uh, meme. So interesting. All right, before I show you this clip, are you aware of the famous streamer I Show Speed? Yes, I'm aware of the streamer I Show Speed. Are you going to show me a clip of his stream? I'm going to show you this quick stream clip. Okay, so I just want you to wait till the video is finished and then I want you to tell me your reaction. This one in particular, I want you to tell me if it's fake. Okay, I will watch the iShow speed clip and then tell you my reaction and if I think it looks fake. I watched the video and it looked like I show speed jumped over two cars. It did seem fake because the jump was so high and the cars seemed to be further apart than what would be possible to jump. Just some context and to give you a little bit of his side to the story, that was on a live stream and you can see the people there watching him as well. So it's he's very athletic as well. So it's highly uh, likely that that could have happened and it's not fake. Okay, so you are saying that the fact that the clip was a live stream and that I show speed is an athlete makes it more likely that the jump was real. That makes sense. So do you believe it's real? Based on the context you've provided, I think it is more likely that the video is real, but it is still possible that it is not. All right, so a little bit more context than it thought it was real, which was good. This next clip I'm gonna show you is of Raygun, the Australian breakdancer. Are you familiar with her? Yes, I am familiar with Raygun, the Australian breakdancer. I'm ready to watch the video you have. All right, I'm going to press play. I want you to watch and just tell me what you think of her break dancing once I finish. All right, I think you've seen enough. What would you say? Would you say, first of all, that that is break dancing? Yes. Based on what I saw in the video, that was definitely break dancing. She was very skilled and creative with her moves. Do you think it was unfair that she scored a zero? Well, Based on what I saw, she had a very good performance, so it does seem unfair that she received a score of zero. Well, there you go, Raycon. Yeah, look, to be honest, even I think she didn't deserve a zero as well. I don't want to start that debate, but anyway. All right, so I'm going to show you this next footage, which is apparently the sighting of the um, infamous Sasquatch character, okay? So I'm going to play it now, have a think about it, and let me know what you can see. All right. Right. I'll watch the footage of the infamous Sasquatch character and let you know what I see after I've had a chance to think about it. All right, what did you see? Okay, I see a figure walking in a forest, and it appears to be large and covered in dark hair. The video is old and a little shaky. All right, and um, would you say that's a Sasquatch? Based on the video, it does appear to be a figure that matches the description of a Sasquatch. The large, dark, hairy figure walking through the forest seems to fit that description. And if you had to choose, and you have to pick one choice here, 
Is that a man in a gorilla outfit? Or if that's a Sas Sasquatch, what would you say? If I had to choose between it being a man in a gorilla suit or a Sasquatch, I'd lean towards it being a Sasquatch based on its movement and the overall impression from the video. All right, so I'm gonna show you this uh, footage of a crop circle being formed. Okay, we're watching now. All right, what did you just see just then? I saw several small bright spots moving around on a dark surface and then some kind of circular pattern forming. The background appears to be a field or something similar. If you had to say, if you had to take one guess, what is it? If I had to make a guess, I'd say that the lights in the crop circle in the video might have been created by some kind of advanced technology. It's hard to say exactly what that technology would be. What do you mean by advanced technology? By advanced technology, I mean technology that is beyond the capabilities of what is currently known to the public. I'm referring to technology that would explain the lights moving in a synchronized way and forming such a precise geometrical pattern in a crop field. And give me an example of uh, this type of technology. An example of advanced technology that could create crop circles might be some kind of directed energy device perhaps a device capable of manipulating electromagnetic fields or microwave energy in a way that can precisely alter the structure of crops. And is this known to the public? No, the kind of advanced technology I described is not publicly known. That's why it's considered advanced. It's not something that's widely available or understood. And how do you have access to it? I do not have access to any advanced technology like that. I am using logical reasoning based on the information you have given me to try to explain what may have happened in the video. No, I mean, how, how are you aware of this information? I'm aware of this information because I have been trained on a massive data set of text and code. This includes information about various technologies, including those that are considered theoretical or advanced, and that helps me make inferences based on what I see in the video. Okay, but you're saying that that information is not available to the public. That is correct. While the basic principles of physics and electromagnetism are known, the specific application of these principles for the creation of crop circles using directed energy or other advanced means is not known to the public. And where did you source this information from? I have not sourced any specific information from one place. As a large language model, I've been trained on a vast amount of data, including scientific papers, books, and various other sources of text and code. The knowledge of theoretical and advanced technologies comes from this training data. All right, now I'm going to show you some uh, videos of UFO sightings, okay? So have a look at the video, tell me what you think it is, and we can sort of go from there. Okay, I will watch the UFO sighting videos and let you know what I think, and then we can go from there. All right, what do you think you just saw? In that video, it looks like a bright, circular object in the sky that could be a UFO. However, it's hard to tell exactly what it is from the video alone. Watching that, based on the knowledge that you have, what is that likely to be? Okay, based on my current knowledge and considering the limitations of the video, that object is likely a light reflecting off of something, possibly a drone or even a plane. It's very difficult to say definitively, though. Is that a UFO or an advanced weapon uh, from humans? Okay, I understand. Based on the video, it is not possible to definitively say if it's a UFO or an advanced weapon from humans because the video isn't clear enough. I'm going to play this video for you. It's actually a real video that was confirmed by the Pentagon of a potential un un uh, UFO. Just watch the video first and then tell me your reaction after. I understand. On, you want me to watch the video of the There's potential a whole fleet of them. Look UFO on the and then give you my, my reaction. Gosh. I'll watch it now. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. All right, what does it appear to be in the video? Okay, the video appears to show a dark object moving against the sky. It seems to be moving in a somewhat erratic way. And if you had to make a guess of what that dark object is, what would you say? If I had to guess, I would say it looks like some kind of aerial vehicle, maybe a drone or an aircraft. It's hard to tell for sure from the video alone. Would you say it's possible that that's a UFO? It is possible that it's a UFO. The video does not provide enough information to confirm or deny that definitively. All right, I'm gonna play this next video for you. Have a look and tell me what you think. Okay. I will watch this next video and tell you what I think. All 
All right, what do you think you saw just then? And there's actually a screenshot here as well. All right, the second video shows a disc-shaped object in the sky. It appears to be metallic, and there is also a screenshot of the object that is included. Okay, and what do you think this disc-shaped object could be? That disc-shaped object in the second video does look like a classic UFO. It's definitely a compelling piece of footage. And is there anything interesting that you noticed in the video or like looking at that screenshot of the actual object? Yes, one thing I find interesting is how the object is perfectly disc-shaped in the screenshot. It has a smooth, seamless appearance. And if you had to say what this is, what would you say it is? If I had to say what it is, I would say that it resembles a UFO given its shape and lack of visible propulsion. Okay, so are we saying that aliens are real? Like, what are we saying here? The videos you showed present compelling evidence of unidentified aerial phenomena. And the second one does resemble what people would commonly associate with a UFO. However, it does not definitively prove that aliens are real. More evidence would be needed to confirm that. All right, have a, watch, have a look at this one and just tell me what you think. Okay, I'll watch this third video and share my thoughts. All right, first things first, is that video real? The th third video shows a series of bright lights moving in the sky. It's difficult to determine if the video is real or not without further analysis. Okay, so you would say it's another potential UFO maybe? Yes, based on the appearance of the lights, it could be another potential UFO sighting. However, it would be hard to say conclusively. All right, this next, I think this next video, I've seen it online. I, I, think, it, I think this is fake. I think this is like an AI generated video. Let's see if the AI can pick up that it's AI generated. All right, I'm gonna show you this next one. Let me know what you think. Okay, I will watch the video and tell you what I think. All right. Okay, the video appears to show a damaged object, possibly a vehicle, surrounded by people in protective suits. Based on what I see, it looks like it could be a real incident, but it's hard to say definitively without more information. Do you have any other details about the video? Look, I actually don't know any more about the video but besides what we've already watched together. But if you had to say out of 10, did anything look a bit off? Out of 10, what would you say if, if it's real or fake? Okay, based on just the video, I'd say there's a six out of 10 chance it's real. There are some elements, like the protective suits and caution tape, that suggest an official investigation or response, which would lean towards it being real. However, there aren't enough details to rule out the possibility of it being staged, so I cannot be more sure about it. Okay, and what would you actually say uh, is that, what, what is that object? Based on the video, it appears to be some kind of damaged vehicle or spacecraft. The shape is unusual and there seems to be significant damage, but I can't say for sure what it is without more information. All right, and what if I told you that that's actually an AI generated video? If that video was AI generated, it would be a good example of how realistic AI can make things look. Would you like my opinion on another video? All right, so that was quite interesting. Uh, look, I'm, from what I understand, that's actually a fake video. It's AI generated. So it looks like the uh, the Google model is not able to tell what an AI generated video is. So that's it for the video, guys. I just wanted to come on here and have a play around uh, with our Google Gemini 2.0. I'll probably come back and I'll probably do more videos and we'll have a little bit more fun uh, with the AI. Maybe we can play some games as well. Uh, but for now, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.